Hello, in this video I will take a look at the Axe Raiders. I'm Super Hitovitz and I hope you will find it useful. Axe Riders are Season 9 Heroic Era units, unlockable after 5 years of seasonal challenges. 4th tier grants the unique doctrine which is supposed to boost their double throw skill. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but I will talk about that later. Axe Riders are hybrid ranged melee units. By default, they throw their axes from a safe distance, but they are also very capable in close combat. They even get a separate skill set when they run out of ammo. Their first range skill is Throw Axes. They throw a volley of axes which knock down enemy units and deal damage similar to regular attacks. It's their only targeted throw and it has the biggest range. After throw, they can reactivate it for around 7 seconds to perform a charge to the spot in which Axes landed. Charge has low damage, but they face through units and daze them. Important note is that they don't go in the straight line. They find a path to their target like with regular move order. They are also immune to CC while performing this charge and engage enemies in melee when it finishes. Their second range skill is Double Axe. They throw two axes which deal around 20% bonus damage and have slightly higher range than regular attacks. If you activate this skill when there are no enemies in range, they will get movement speed bonus for around 10 seconds. Due to their slaughter airstride, it can also decrease the defense of enemy units by up to 600. It's huge, so try to apply it as much as possible. When they run out of ammo, their first skill switches to Rider Charge, which is very similar to the charge described before. The difference is that they move slightly slower and they are not immune to CC. Their second melee skill is Cutting Edge. It makes them rush to enemies with a significant movement speed bonus, it deals some impact damage and then they perform a quick attack combo. After that they go for regular melee attacks. Axe Riders have one more interesting trait which grants them passive healing and bonus attack in defense when they drop below 50% HP. Note that they don't need to be above half HP for it to activate and it has around 25 second cooldown. Another important thing is that the healing doesn't last for 8 seconds, it's rather around 5 seconds. My tests show that they get around 20% increase in damage when under the effect of this trait. I'm not sure about exact numbers for defense, but all you need to know is that they are very hard to kill when it activates unless you burst them down. As for veterancy, they have two lines with no overlap between them. The choice there is quite hard, not because of different bonuses, but because most of the interesting nodes do not work as described. In the top line, the most interesting nodes are increased range, which doesn't work at all, Increased skill damage, which doesn't work. Bonus movement speed after using skills, which doesn't work with charge. However, it allows their cutting edge to reach absolutely insane speed. In the bottom line, we have increased block break, which I didn't test. Sweeping strike. I don't see any difference between top and bottom line in number of targets hit. Increased trade duration. It doesn't work. I will put links to my test in the description. Assuming that everything would work properly, I think the bottom line is better, because the trade is very powerful and block break and sweeping strike would help them clean up enemies much faster. For now I stick with the top line for increased ammo, kiting potential and crazy movement speed with cutting edge. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video so far and let's talk about Doctrine's Town. They have one unique doctrine which boosts their double axe. It's supposed to knock back enemy units, it was knocked down before, but it doesn't work, so for now it's not worth a slot. Other than that, they are a unique unit type, so not much choice there. Assuming that their unique doctrine would be fixed, I would go with it, plus breakthrough, siege fighter, slashing damage and penetration. Maybe I would switch slashing damage for assassination. Ok, enough about their build, how to play them. They are capable melee fighters, but don't be mistaken, you shouldn't rush them into close combat. 
Most of their damage output comes from double throws, so you should play them like javelineers. Just throw axes from a safe distance and try to rack up as many kills as possible. Consider their healing trait and their melee capabilities as a safeguard against enemies who try to dive you. If a single unit tries range hunting against your axe riders, you can kill them with minimal losses. If more enemies come, then just charge to safety. Because of that, never waste your first key just for the damage. Use it to escape sticky situations or to rush the enemy backline if opportunity arises. Due to its CC resistance and days on heat, you can even use it to negate the damage of enemy charges or to charge through Imperial Pies advance to hit them in the back. To be honest, this skill is quite overpowered, because CC immunity plus no unit collision means that you can get away from almost any situation unscratched. If you just need to charge in, then try to do that from the back, so you won't end up in the middle of enemy blob, or time the throw charge with running out of ammo. This way you instantly get a second charge, so you can charge in, deal tons of damage and charge out. Note that if you have ammo and you press V, they won't fight in melee. So you either need to charge just behind enemies, so X-Riders attack by themselves, or you need to cancel the charge with the attack move command. To wrap things up, I consider the X-Riders an easy mode javelin unit. Their playstyle is similar, but they have more ammo, are more tanky, can easily defend themselves, have an amazing escape tool, and you can resupply them faster due to the movement speed buff. Unfortunately, the state of the veterancy lines makes them literally the most broken unit I saw so far. Hopefully, this will be fixed soon and Dax Riders will get even better. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more of such content. Thank you for watching and see you next time.